there. I, I heard you guys have had some uh, few rescues uh, uh, recently. Uh, oh. Tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah, a few is almost an understatement. Um, really? We've okay. had a ton of rescues. Um, since I've been here, we've actually taken in 14 new animals and we've assisted in the rescue in 2021 of a total of 35. So wow. between the animals we've taken in here and the ones that we've helped to network at other facilities, um, 35 lives saved, which is an awesome accomplishment. But yeah, in the months of April and May, we actually took in four animals, three of which all happened at the same time from two different sources. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, do you want me to tell you kind of about their stories? Yeah, give me a little background about what, what some of those special stories that, uh, that we like to hear about. Yeah, absolutely. So in April, we got an intake request for an animal named Mowgli, who is a high content wolf dog. Okay. He had just turned three years old, like right around the time that we rescued him. But he was a privately owned pet living in Colorado. And he actually lived with some experienced owners. So they had a number of exotic pets, including wolf dogs and other things. And the couple who owned him had a background working with like big cats and bears in zoos and sanctuaries. Okay. So you know, they felt prepared to take on a second wolf dog when they got Mowgli. Mm -hmm. And once he hit, you know, adulthood, um, he sort of changed character a little bit and he became rather difficult mm -hmm. for them to work with safely. And he actually ended up killing another one of their exotic pets. Ooh, so they realized they were a little bit in over their heads with him and reached out to sanctuaries to see if anyone could take him in. And we obviously extended the offer, spoke with them a little bit about Wild Spirit, what we could mm -hmm. offer him as far as enclosure space, companionship, um, they obviously had fears about us being able to work safely with him right. considering they were struggling. So we kind of talked back and forth until they got to a point where they were comfortable letting us mm -hmm. take him. And um, I sent two people to Colorado from the team to go pick him up. Uh, the owners were actually really great in helping us get him loaded into the vehicle. So it was totally hands off for our team until he got back home. Um, mm -hmm. But since being home, he has decided he does not like almost any one of our staff. He is actually a pretty outwardly aggressive animal towards people, uh, even through a fence line. Really? So uh, yeah, so he's been a little bit of uh, an experience for a lot of our staff that haven't quite seen that side of an animal before. And especially for our interns who maybe have never worked with wolf dogs in general. Right. Uh, and it's, it's pretty polarizing to see that we have some animals here who are very social. Um, we put out a lot of content on social media that shows us interacting with them. And yeah. so I think people get this impression that, that, that they're all like that and they're all lovey-dovey and hands-on and that's absolutely not the case. Right. Um, so Mowgli is definitely one of our most difficult animals. He's very difficult to read. He can kind of be mercurial, mm. but um, we were able to get him vetted. Uh, we did a neuter, which I think will be pivotal in changing some of that right. outward aggression that we're seeing. Um, we were able to check on some issues that his owners thought he might have with like potential abscess teeth, which mm. were all good. So clean bill of health, up to date on vaccines and everything. That's great. Finally neutered and he's adjusting well. He actually um, is in with a new companion now and that has brought him down a lot. I think that when these guys can kind of get some of that pent up energy out interacting right. with another animal that understands right. them, uh, they don't display it so much towards the people. So yeah, he's settling in well. Uh, he's actually one of my favorites. He lets he lets me pet him and go in there with him, but I'm about the only person <laughs> that he will allow that with. So I feel very blessed that he has chosen me as a person he's okay with. That's good. He sees you as the as his alpha, right? <clears throat> oh, no, no, definitely not. <laughs> no. no. I don't I don't know what it is. I mean, we it's hard to know ever know when these guys pick a person. Sure. Um we we like to say they choose and if they pick us great, if they don't, you know, there's no forcing it. But I think that with him being so young in time, there's a very good chance he'll warm up to more people. So right. I hope that's the case. But yeah, for now, he's definitely got a special place in my heart and I hang out with him almost every day.